Hey, some of the baddest bass lines are here in this genre, so um, check it out. It's I'll dig into it in a little bit. It's the some of the most powerful and driving bass lines you'll find are from this genre. It's a it's a powerful genre by by um, by far. So if you if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the online course I Want to Play Bass.com, where I teach aspiring bass players to become to reach their goals as basis, whether that's a working basis or just as a hobby. Um, it's, you know, it can, it can go either way. It's for everyone. So, so it's just real people just, just playing bass. And that's, that's what we, that's what we want. We're not a bunch of, um, nonsense or anything. It's just, just as real as it gets. So, all right, well, let me dive into it. The genre we're going to talk about today is, is gospel. Believe it or not, it's gospel. Those bass lines that are incorporated in gospel are just something else. And you need to check out um, Cherie Reed and um, Fred Hammond and some of their lines. They are, it's, it's good stuff, real, real good stuff. So check it, check those guys out and, and you'll definitely, um, you'll definitely want to learn from those, you know, use those guys as mentors because they, they definitely take gospel to what well, they along with several other bases that it's just a driving genre and the bass lines are what drives it you know the drummer he'd just be sitting there just pounding it out in the bass line just pushing it all the way through and it's just just amazing stuff you need to check it out it is seriously amazing and just good good music um, definitely so if you haven't subscribed down below to get notified of the um, the next ones I have, this is a mini series I've got of the origins of American music. This is part seven of that um, that series, and I've got a couple more coming out, and this one will be complete. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to dig into next, but I got a couple ideas um, as to which goes. So you'll get catch up, um, you'll get to see all those, be notified when those come out. And I've got a lot of a lot of bass lessons that um little tidbits out there that that'll help the bassist. Um, add to their arsenal and their repertoire and and just a lot of a lot of good stuff so go ahead subscribe down below check out my website subscribe there there's a, a free ebook there as well on um <clears throat> how to set your base up you know from action fret nut to adjusting neck relief pickups you know strings we go over it, the whole nine yards the, the my course goes from the fundamentals 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 and we break it all down and um, just so you can build just stepping stones, just stepping stones, and that's what we need to become solid bass players. We need those fundamentals, and that's what we grow off of. But subscribe to the YouTube channel here because it's got I've got more more of these videos coming along, and um, I've got the the next two um, parts you won't want to miss. So subscribe down below. You'll get notified as soon as they come out, and um, I look forward to seeing y'all. Or here, and y'all leave comments. Please let me know um, what you think, or you know what what might help help make things better. So leave me a comment. I love the interaction. So um, the gospel is is our is our topic today. This genre is powerful and driving, as I mentioned before. It can it can have people falling out on the floor. It's so moving and powerful. It's just it's just something else. You need to check it out. It's definitely something else um it, it's a great genre and the music's just just amazing but it it came came about from the folk traditions brought from africa it featured um features the spirituals and the group singing which folk tradition the african americans brought to us is is that the spirituals and um <clears throat> and the group singing and it's as well it's um it's it's added to it's mixed in with the christian hymns later on in life and that's what gets the um later on in the years of, of our america's um the building of america so yeah gospel mixes in with those group singings and the spirituals mixes with the christian hymns and that's what gets us the um the gospel so it um it dates back as far as 1874, and that's when the um, that's when the term gospel came around. It just wasn't as popular then, and 
like I say, it, it's been around since the settlers, since African Americans landed here, came here. That's um, it's been around since then. It just hasn't been termed gospel until, like I said, 1874. But it doesn't get a lot of popularity until later on in the um, things in the 20s when it gets um, when radio comes about and they start um playing on the radio. So it gets a lot of um the audience increases significantly around the 1920s and um it's it's got several different there's several different styles now that have come about you've got the gospel blues you have the southern gospel you have um bluegrass gospel um urban contemporary gospel and it's it's said that the the modern gospel came about in the in the 30s <clears throat> in the 30s with the help of um of Thomas Dorsey he um he had a lot to do with it he was a music composer and he had lost his wife and he started got into the bible real heavy his father was a was into the bible and he learned that from his father and he just he you know he just took gospel to a different le- uh level so that is um it's a little bit about Thomas Dorsey but uh a big gospel song that you need to check out. It was written in the 30s and is still being published in gospel books today. Is um, "Turn Your Radio On." It's it's a big one and it's um, it's real popular. Like I said, and it's still around today. So check that one out just to get a feel for gospel and everything. And and then you'll you'll find out that after World War II is when gospel took a took a big big step up. They started being played in big big venues like Madison Square Gardens, um, the major auditoriums they were it was being played in. But that's that's just a little bit about gospel and how it came about. Um, like I said, it's interesting and, and there's a couple more genres that I'm going into the next um next few that actually branch off of gospel. So so that'll be interesting. Like I said, you won't want to miss that. But today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about um about the bass lines. I don't have any actual tunes like i said check out turn your radio on check that one out just to get a feel for it um <clears throat> but i'm just going to go over i guess the breakdown a little bit what gospel is made up of bass lines and, and chord progressions um one of the you know it's a stand one four five is good for every just about every genre but um gospel uses a one six five as well and it, it's kind of cool it it's definitely cool that six adds a little bit of something but they use the bassist use a lot of pentatonic scales it's um you know, just because it's just covers such an area and it's you know they do throw the sevenths in there quite a bit to just give it that color but it um it's mainly the pentatonic scales that major and minor that they throw in there there's some um, the blue scale is used as well um but it's mostly mostly those and um so that's that's basically it. I will, um, like I said, check out Cher, Cher Reed and Fred Hammond to see some phenomenal stuff. But for now, we're just gonna go over like just a basic, basic um, feel for gospel, and that's typically, like I say, we'll just do a one six five in the key of C, and that's. however advanced or how depending on what's the drum is usually just straightforward and they're just hammering it out right there you know that's basically all they're just just doing it straight on like that but then the bass line he do some ghost notes in there stuff like that one big thing is just take the the simple stuff and execute it at a high level of what they're doing the, just the basic the pentatonic scale but they are they're tearing it Take that 
and like I say, just a simple, simple lick you might see in there. It's just a little rough bar, vibrato they use a lot. Can pull off. Just something simple like that. You just take that minor pentatonic there. Since it's a relative minor of C, because that's in the key of C. This first right here is the C, is the root. Sixth is A, and then G is the fifth. So one, six, five. And shred that pentatonic here. Do a little vibrato. Pull off. Check it out. Um, tell you, I, I want to play bass.com. Sign up, subscribe there, get your free ebook. And um, hope to see y'all back. Definitely check out the subscribe down below. As I said, I've got more. Um, I got a couple more parts of this series. And then we're going to wrap it up. And um, I've got some cool bass lines that will be coming up in there as well. And um, that'll do it. Thank you all.